actually happened. Dixie State University just. students so listened intently as the newly elected officials of Hilldale shared their stories so, of social genocide. Um, just five years ago, Donya we'll Jessup was a member of the FLDS church, an offshoot of the Mormon religion. She used to wear the traditional prairie dresses with her hair piled high in a bun. But after becoming educated on polygamous leader Warren Jeff's powerful grip and deception, Jessup, her husband, and 10 children defected and moved away. He has caused so much damage. I truly believe Hitler killed bodies. Warren Jeff's killed souls. Now, two years later, Jessup finds herself elected as Hilldale's first woman non-FLDS mayor. She and others wanted to make changes to the once oppressed twin communities of Hilldale and Colorado City. Figuring out what we needed to do to make this city turn around and start to grow instead of continue to deteriorate, I wanted to be a part of that. And I knew I should be a part of that. A massive flood in September 2015 seemed to set those changes in motion as Mayor Philip Barlow wept over the loss of 13 community members swept away during the storm. This is an act of God and this is something that we can't, we can't control. We, we have to take what we receive and, and do the best we can. When those floodgates were opened, Donya Jessup said that's when Hilldale's people began to see the dawning of a new day. When the world came in and showed that they cared was the most important time for the people to turn. And that's actually when we started to come back. That's when Joe went out, my husband went out for the first time and went and helped look for the bodies. The demise continued when 10 prominent FLDS leaders pleaded guilty to food stamp fraud. Things began to change. The school reopened its doors and began seeing incredible growth in student populations. A new county library was opened and books and movies were allowed to be checked out. People who were once banned from the community are now coming back and reclaiming their homes. Uh, property value is going to be a big deal when people start owning their own homes, when they're looking to get a mortgage, when they're looking to get a home equity loan, when they're looking to sell their home. Two other non-FLDS candidates also prevailed in the election. Jared Nickel and Javar Dutson will also serve on the city council. They too are encouraging the changes and are hopeful for the future. And I want to listen to them and be open in our work at, at city council and start making this great, big, huge, humongous elephant get off our backs. Jessup hopes the fallout of the FLDS membership will spur growth of new businesses. I want to see the beautification, I want to see the fiber optics, water, roads, and I think that's going to be a huge thing to take care of in the next four years. With the lack of education and the lack of economic opportunity within the city, that there is a higher proportion of the population that is in poverty. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't be allowed to have food stamps. The once high walls are coming down and doors are opening to communications and the outside world, of which many of these residents have never seen. And while there are still those who continue to believe in Jeff's movement, it's slowly transforming into a new era for the tiny town of 3000. There's so much hope right now. And, and now that we've got this door open, it, it's like the possibilities are endless. What do we want to do? And so just to sit down and say, what do we want to do? That's a very foreign thing for us because it's always been, what would you like us to do? Melissa Anderson, CEC News.